many times. Not always, but this is what I see. Uh, so of all these components of the IVF, that leaves the nerve as being, all these are interconnected, and I'm saying I don't see this too much, and this goes away with that, then, then what we're looking at is the nerve component. Uh, and, and when we look at this, we, we're talking about basically a couple areas, uh, the central nervous system primary subluxation or fixation, and muscle proprioceptors. In the proprioceptors, and this is where I'm going with this, I mean, if we, if we believe that the, if, if what I'm saying is true, that the nerve is involved a lot, uh, we already know about subluxations and fixations, but how many of you are doing a lot of proprioceptor work on your patients? Um, yeah, good. Uh, so we're talking about origin insertion, Golgi 10, and spindle cells. Uh, the tools we're using for understanding when we're, when we're examining in a patient uh, we have visual, vi visual observations like posture and gait, instrumentation, blood pressure, pulse oximeter, endocardiograph, x-rays. Uh, but the hardcore tools that we use in AK are TL and Challenge. Now, if you look at any of the books, the textbooks on AK, you'll find that Challenge in the literature covers osteos, osteos both spinal and extraspinal. Uh, neurological organization, stretch weaknesses, hiatal hernia, and stress receptors, but there isn't a single thing on challenge in proprioceptors. Doesn't exist. So in the text, when we're talking about proprioceptor evaluation, the main tools we're using for evaluation are palpation and therapy localization. Isn't that correct? And, and I'm going to go through the procedure. Here, here in the spindle cell, and this is right out of the book. This is right out of our textbook. Uh, what you're doing is uh, you assume you're, you're uh, uh, anticipating that you're finding a muscle that has a proprioceptor imbalance, and you want to evaluate that. Uh, you uh, first palpate the muscle for a focal area of tenderness. This is on spindle cell. So somewhere in the belly of the muscle, you're going to find a, ten, a tender spot. An, an isolated area. This is, this is right in the book. Uh, then you test the muscle to see if the muscle is weak or strong. It could be either. It could be the, in weakness, uh, it, or I'm sorry, in strength, it's considered, if there's an abnormality of the spindle cell, to be hypertonic. It's not strong, it's too strong. It's hypertonic, right? If it's weak, then it has a, a, a typical weakness. Uh, then you TL, the, the area of tenderness, where you think the spindle cell is involved. And if it uh, therapy localizes, a weak muscle strengthens or a strong muscle weakens, then you have a positive TL for a spindle cell uh, problem. Everybody with me so far? This is out of the textbook. The spindle cells are in the, f in, the, in the fiber of the muscle. The Golgi's are out in the tendons. Okay? If you, spindle cells are, are speed indicators, and Golgi tendons are power indicators, the amount of force being generated in the muscle. So the, the speed happens in the, in the fibers, and the, and the power happens in the, in the tendons at the end of the muscle. Okay, so if the muscle uh, strengthens, in other words, if you have a weak muscle and the muscle strengthens, you push the fibers together to weaken it. You see, we're already going, ah, uh, yeah, I remember that. Uh, what is it? You push it or pull it or whatever. Uh, and then after you do the therapy, you therapy localize it again to see if it changed. If, it, if the therapy localization is gone, then you've made the correction. That's the textbook version of how to fix a spindle cell, okay? And just for a visual, 